Hey everyone, so today I'll be doing a new makeup tutorial for you guys. So I'm going to be using my new Christian Dior, my video feature of the day with my NARS um, blue eyeshadow that I have on my lid mixed with a little bit of Deep Truth by MAC, but I don't want to ramble on. So if you want to know how to get this look, continue to watch. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Starting out, I primed my eyes off camera with concealer. So here I'm just starting with Saddle by MAC and I'm blending that color all over the eyelid into the crease. Here I'm using Brown Script by MAC and I'm going over the Saddle in the crease area blending it just to deepen it up a little bit, adding more of a crease transition color. Now here I'm just using a regular black pencil as a base to blend on just my lower lids. You can use a black crayon pencil, like I couldn't find my NYX jumbo pencil so I ended up using my black MAC um, eyeliner. But you can use a NYX jumbo pencil in black or you can even use a blue one. I have a blue one, I have a blue NYX jumbo pencil as well as a regular blue eyeliner but I wanted a darker look so I'm just using black. Now I'm using NARS Out Reamer, a nice solid matte blue, like a royal blue eyeshadow, and I'm patting that color all onto the lower portion of the lid, just right on top of where I added that black eyeliner. Just use a patting motion, press that eyeshadow on there, and use as much until you feel you have the desired coverage. Now this is one of the most important steps. Get your blending brush and start blending away those harsh lines. After blending, now you're gonna take Deep Truth by MAC and you're gonna put that all over where you put that NARS out reamer. And you're gonna bring it just a little bit higher so you can blend it with your blending brush into the saddle and the brown script. This is a very important step, if not the most important step. You want to make sure you blend out all of the harsh lines so the colors flow. If you need to reapply brown script or saddle, feel free because your goal is to get those colors blended as best as you can. Now here I'm just buffing the Christian Dior Nude in number 50 into my skin. Now to highlight, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium Dark 2. The color is Caramel and I'm just going to add that to all the places where I highlight. So under my eyes, it's going to go down the bridge of my nose forehead, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. Here's a tip. When working with this type of concealer, which is more of like a cream liquid type concealer, you want to apply and blend at the same time. What do I mean? If I'm going to apply the concealer under my right eye, I'm going to blend under the right eye at the same time before moving on to applying concealer under the left eye. Because this type of concealer dries quickly. So if you add it all over the face before blending, you'll have a difficult time trying to blend it out when it starts to dry. The sponge I'm using here is the Sephora sponge. It's I guess it's supposed to be like the beauty blender, but oh my god, I love this sponge. And it's only $12. So compared to spending $18 or $20 
on a beauty blender, I have a $12 sponge from Sephora that works just as good and has a bigger tip and a smaller tip that works just as good as the beauty blender. So if you're looking for an alternative to the beauty blender and you want something cheaper, check this one out. Also, after blending, I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm placing that all over the places that I highlight. I'm going to let that set for a few minutes. Then I'm going to take my MAC mineralized powder in dark and I'm going to sweep that off as well as finish powder the rest of my face. Using face powder to brush away the excess translucent powder just helps the face to have a more natural look. After that, I go around the perimeter to contour with sun power. That adds the perfect touch of bronze to the face. Here I'm contouring my cheeks with Blunt by MAC. Here's a tip. On this side I apply too much blush. So what I'm going to do, take some translucent powder, erase it, and then go over it with a mixture of my Inglot blushes and then apply them to the cheeks. To highlight the cheeks, I use Urban Decay Naked Illuminated and the color is Aura. I absolutely love this highlighting powder. I'm contouring my nose with Saddle and then I'm going to just blend that in. Right here, I'm using a plain LZF Blue Royal Blue Eyeliner. And then what I do after that is I take the Deep Truth Eyeshadow by MAC with a small smudger brush and then I go underneath the eyeliner and just blend that in. Afterwards, to the outer corners, I take Pine Nut by NYX and I smudge that in a little bit more just to add a little bit more depth and smokiness to the bottom part of the eye. Here I'm using one of my favorite mascaras by Ellis Foss. It's E401 Black. I'm adding that to the top and bottom lashes. And my falsies I'll add off camera. I'm going to highlight just the tip of my nose with a little bit of that Urban Decay Aura. And then onto the lip. I'm using Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in 5C. Then I'm using my most favorite nude lipstick, Viva Glam Lady Gaga, on the lip. I'm going to leave my lip matte, and that's it. There you have it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.